Yes, I am smiling while talking about Miss Weaver. Today, the Miss Weaver or the Monk Dragonflight talents were released. And before we even get into the video, truly, I would be genuinely surprised if they didn't nerf it. Uh, we got some good stuff for both PvP and PvE. I don't want to waste anyone's time. I am so excited. Um, I'll probably put some like builds at the end of the video. So if you're interested to see like final builds, it'll probably be at the end of the video. I'm going to just talk about the talents of these videos. I just tend to ramble. So let's just start with it. Left side is for Monk. So that means all specs of Monk are going to get these talents. First row, we have Soothing Mist, Rising Sun Kick, Tiger's Lust, and... Obviously, you're probably you're, you're gonna go soothing mist. Soothing mist is like the mist weaver spell. However, windwalkers and brewmasters can get soothing mist as well, which is kind of interesting. So I don't know if that's a mistake or anything. I get, this is alpha also, so it, things are definitely susceptible to be changed. Uh, and then tires rising sun kick. I'm just gonna kind of choose what I would go for now, but you know you only have 29 more points to go, and you, our final talent our our final is going to be Jade Sermon Statue. So we're kind of trying to get there. Brewmaster and then Windwalker is still under, you know, still getting worked on. So, yeah. So we take these uh, from, you know, at the start. And then we have Roll. And then we have Calming Presence, which just reduces all damage taken by 3%. And then Paralysis, which is, you know, just our normal in cap, you know, Paralysis 30 second cooldown or 45 second cooldown. And then this should reduce by 15 seconds. So, oh, I guess it's 30 seconds. And then. Reduce it to 15 seconds. So maybe it's a 15 second cooldown, which is incredible. Um, I'm going to go with roll. Uh, this was kind of buggy when I first looked at it, but we do get roll. And then comic presence, I'm just going to take for now. Just because, I mean, it's 3% reduced damage. That's all damage reduced, which is crazy. This row is very interesting. The third row, uh, Tiger Tail Sweep, which is a talent right now uh, on live. It increases the range of Leg Sweep by 2 yards and reduces its cooldown by ten, by 5 seconds. You could do it twice and then reduce the 10 by 10 seconds. You have Heavy Air. Uh, this increases the range of Jade Lightning, Crackling Jade Lightning by 10 yards. Interesting, but I don't think I'm going to go with it. If you take it, you can go Race of the Crane, which increases all healing taken by 5% or by 2%. I don't know. I'm not really... I'm not, I don't think the range of Crackling Jade Lightning is actually that bad. And then we have Vivify. So this is... Uh, you know, this, this increases our healing of Vivify by 20-40%. So I think that's really important for Miss Weaver, increasing our primary heal by 40%. Uh, detox, obviously very important. This helps remove poisons and disease effects from your target. And then this one's really interesting. We get Disable. So we get a slowback, which is crazy. Um, I don't know what else to say. We, I've been asking for a slow or anything for so long, and I'm so happy that I'm sure other monks have too, and I'm so happy they listen to feedback. We actually get a slow. Thank you. So that way, if melee are training you to the ground, you could actually slow them and roll away, which is great. So we didn't go with uh, heavy air. So we don't have access to Grace of the Crane. I don't think it's that big a deal. Yo, thank you for the follow. I'm actually recording this. So Riven, I, I appreciate that. Um, and then we get this one, Vivacious vivific Vivification. This makes Vivify instant cast. Instant. You don't need to channel Soothing Mist to make an instant this just makes an instant um from a misweaver point of view it's tempting to take um but the talents you get from it are from a pvp point of view it's interesting to take just because um there's interrupts for, but i think this is more useful in pve uh just because you can kind of focus on doing damage you know and you don't have to wait you don't have to plant your feet and soothing mist you could actually just keep your renewing mist going you have rising mist over here we'll talk about that um but this, this is more, I feel like, geared towards PvE. I think it's kind of a bait for PvP. Um, it is interesting, but I don't, I don't think it's going to be used in PvP that much. Because then for PvE, you get access to Chi Wave or Chi Burst. Usually, you're probably going to go Chi Burst. You could go Chi Wave, though, if you want some single target damage. Um, but I think for PvP, it's kind of more of a bait. And then we get Fero Ferocity of Zhuen. Increases all damage dealt by 2 and 4%. So, again, this is more geared towards Fist Weaving and mostly i mean there's definitely a fist weaving build for pvp for sure um but for i think it's mostly geared towards pve now because we took paralysis to reduce the cooldown we have access to this row and this is fortifying brew this is just our fortifying brew now however it's a six minute cooldown um six minute cooldown and in the row below it you get access to 
either fortifying brew which reduces the cooldown by two minutes which makes the four minute cooldown or fortifying brew which makes it so it increases your dodge and armor by 25 percent probably mo not probably mostly geared towards brewmaster um i would probably go just the two minute cooldown reduction for miss weaver and then here it is this is it we get an interrupt i mean how long how long have we been waiting for this ever since what wad we've missed it and it's finally back. We finally get our interrupt back. This is our spear hand strike. You interrupt somebody for four seconds, 15 second cooldown. I am like, just having a slow, I would be happy with, but they gave us our kickback and I couldn't be happier. I, I just being able to contribute to a kill, a boss fight, having a priority on something, it just makes me, it actually makes me really happy. I'm, I'm very, very happy with this. So obviously, you know, we're gonna get our kickback and then we also we get transcendence that you have to spec in transcendence so we get transcendence um something to note i didn't spec in the tire tail sweep so we didn't get elusive mist uh this reduces damage taken while channeling soothing mist by three and then six percent might be good for pvp i don't know if it's good for pve because you're probably just gonna be mostly instant casting with vivify and then using your rising mist to heal even for pvp i don't know if this is that good um most of the time if i'm getting tunneled I pour away and they're not really hitting me. So I don't think it's that good. I, yeah, I, I don't think it's gonna be that good. And then we have this row. So again, we already specced into fortifying brew, which you know re reduces the uh, fort brew by two minutes. So that makes a four minute cooldown. And then we get Chi Torpedo or Celerity. So this reduces the cooldown of row by five seconds and it increases the charges by one. Now this is buggy. I was testing this on alpha during my stream. This is buggy because you spec in a cheat torpedo. It says it replaces roll. However, rolls up here. And if you don't spec into roll, you don't get access to cheat torpedo. I don't know why. Um, it was kind of buggy for me. It was it was sometimes hit or miss. So it's probably a bug. I'll probably report it. Um, but just keep that in mind. I, this could maybe you don't have to spec into roll. Maybe you get a free talent. Um, but just assume for right now you have to spec into it to get cheat torpedo. And then you get fast feet. Rising sun kicks deals thirty five percent increased damage and then spinning crank kick damage increased obviously this is mostly geared towards pve um but rising sun kick 70 percent damage increase is pretty crazy for pvp as well just, just a flat 70 percent increase in damage is so nuts um but that does give you access to dampen harm so keep that in mind um if you even though you know we might not be able to rising sun kick much in pvp it does give you access to dampen harm and this next row this next row is 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 probably gonna get nerfed in my opinion it's probably gonna get nerfed um ring of peace we get ring of peace it's awesome uh provoke not gonna be used in pve but this will be used in pvp i know it seems weird but this makes it so when you taunt somebody they get the 50 percent increase speed um really good for this is gonna be used versus hunters and warlocks for taunting pets to break your crowd control so keep that in mind um and then you get access to diffuse magic so this row you get diffuse magic, dampen harm, and then on top of that, you have fort fortifying brew. Three major defensives. It, I, I don't think it's going to happen. I, I'm not going to get my hopes up, but it might happen that's it might happen so i'm i'm gonna i'm gonna i like i'm gonna keep i'm taking both of those you know what i mean i'm taking both of those and then you get touch of death so touch of death can now be used on targets with less than 50 percent health remaining dealing 30 times your maximum so touch of death you get touch of death back um obviously it's really buggy in pvp might not be worth taking i kind of like it so it's very very good and then we have expel harm maybe not i didn't really use expel harm that much in pve um, but in PvP, I do use it. It is definitely part of my rotation. So I, I'm probably going to take it. Um, I think it's pretty good. A really good instant heal. 15 second cooldown. Very nice when people are targeting you. And then this is... Uh, this... I I cannot... They actually, they actually listened. And I'm not going to take any credit. But this is the one thing I've been asked... That I hope that they were going to put. And they it's escape from reality. I cannot believe they actually list I'm, I'm definitely not the only monk too like there's so there was i saw so many other monks asking for it like this is so good this will not be used in pve probably unless there's some kind of mechanic where you need to port take something in the port back could be useful this will be definitely be used in pvp every you'll be taking this every time this is a legendary that miss weavers have now what this does is it lets you port 
and then port again within 10 seconds. So very, very good. Um, and then we didn't go, I didn't get Eye of the Tiger. Mostly, this is mostly geared towards Windwalker and Fist Weaving. But then you also get wind walking. So that's kind of good too. If you find like you have self, you have some like bonus um, points. Very good. Um, fatal touch, touch death cooldown reduced by 60 seconds. Uh, actually, two minutes, which is very strong in PV. I feel like this is actually kind of good in keystones, no? Uh, I feel like that's kind of good. I, I kind of like that. And then we have generous pour, which you and your allies within X amount of yards have an additional X amount of avoidance. So this is pretty good. This is interesting, but before I just talk about right down here, I want to go over here. So we didn't, I didn't choose any points over here, but roll out during cheat torpedo, you're immune to roots and snares. This is tempting to take. Um, for example, if you roll a warrior can't root, it can't charge and root you, which is really good out in PVE. I don't know. You can't get slowed when you roll their you know, cheat torpedo, which is good too, but I don't know. I, it might be good, but you'd have to take the instant cast vivify and then go chi wave. I just think it's kind of a waste of points. And then close to heart, you and your allies gain an additional two to 4% leech. Again, I don't have, I don't know if that's useful or not. It might be, it might be. Um, but for right now, I don't think so. So we're just going to finish off the Mistweaver with this row right here uh, by save them all. So when your healing spells heal more than three people below 35% HP, heal for an additional X amount. I don't actually know what that means. I think there's, it says NYA. I think it's like, that means it's still in development. So this is probably going to get changed but for now we're just gonna straight to statue so we have four points left and so these last four points are kind of up to you i feel like personally for pvp i kind of like the generous pour just because bounce back when i when you get hit for more than 40 percent more than 20 percent of your health it reduces damage you take for six seconds so you get all these defensives you get diffuse magic dampen harm escape from reality four brew and then on top of that, you get like a baseline just damage reduction when you take it more than 20% of your health. It's crazy. Um, and then this is Resonant Fists, which obviously it has the NYI, so it's still getting worked on. But when you have three consecutive, three consecutive abilities hit, more than three allies, you deal more damage. Uh, this one's also still getting worked on. And then the final one for Brewmaster is a summon a Black Ox statue. So those are the monk talents, which I am like, just from that, it's crazy. Like that is I am over the moon. If we just had these, I'd be so happy. We have defensives. We got kick. We got disable. We got statue. We like, we got so many. We got ROP baseline. Like, it's so cool. I love it. I love it. I'm already in love with these monk talents. Um, so now we move to the right side of the tree. And what this is, is these are the Mistweaver only talents. Um, so we're going to start off by getting enveloping mist. So that's, uh, you know, no other monk spec can get it. We get it. And then you got to choose, you can choose essence font, mostly geared towards PVE or renewing mist. Obviously you can choose both for PVP, probably renewing mist. And then you can choose thunder focus T. Obviously thunder focus T is like bread and butter of our rotation. So you need that. And then you get invigorating mist, which is verify heals all allies that have renewing mist on them. So right now, Vivify has that already built into it where you heal somebody and then anyone with renewing mist gets healed. This is just that talent. Um, and then you also have to, oh, I, I guess you actually need Essence Font. Oh, wow. Okay, well, if you want Life Cocoon, you have to spec into Essence Font, which is kind of weird actually. Um, Cause for PVP, you mostly, you really don't use Essence Font that much. So yeah, that is interesting, but you do get, you have to spec that to get Life Cocoon. So we're gonna go that. Uh, this next row, there we go. We got teachings of the monastery. I couldn't see a world where they didn't put this in. This is just such a really good legendary from this expansion. Um, and then this one is really interesting. So this is revival or restoral. So revival, this is, by the way, it's not a minute and a half cooldown. I have Peace Weaver. I'm going to spec out of it. It's not to confuse you. It is a three minute cooldown. So <laughs> don't get too excited. Three minute cooldown. This is this heals everybody and then it dispels magic, poison, disease effects. So that's our normal revival. Restoral is same thing as revival. However, it can be usable while stunned, but it doesn't dispel magical effects. So there's a drawback. You can't, it doesn't dispel magical effects anymore, but you can use it while stunned. One thing to note though, this is why I was Peace Weaver. If you use Peace Weaver with Restoral, so you, you could use it while stunned. It doesn't dispel magical 
dots or anything, but it does make you immune and your team immune to magical effects. So one example of this for PvP, if you are stunned and you're against RMP and a mate and a, a priest is going for a mind games on you, you can revive, you could re restore all with Peace Weaver and immune the mind games because it makes you immune to magical effects. So that's interesting. I don't, it obviously it depends on the situation. Obviously versus Warlocks, you want revival, like hands down. And then maybe in other situations you want Restoro. I think, honestly, I think I'm just going to go with Revival. The, the Being able to dispel magical effects and then make people immune to it is just too good. And then we get Healing Elixirs. Like, <laughs> this, this, like, this is why I think we're going to get nerfed. Because we have Escape from Reality, Diffuse Magic, Dampen Harm, Fortifying Brew, a Kick, Disable, and then Healing Elixirs. We're just gonna be unkillable, which is is just unreal, unreal. And then you get Mastery of Mist. Renewing Mist now has two charges. Obviously, that's a no-brainer. It's just so good. In the next row, we have Spirit of the Crane. Actually, surprised they brought this back. I actually am because I didn't even use this in Keystone, even in PvE, even in raids. I didn't use this. Maybe using raids. I don't. I didn't use it, but. Uh, yeah, and then you have Life Cocoon applies. You have Mist of Life, which makes Life Cocoon apply, renewing Mist and Velvet Mist to the target. Again, um, something I had my, on my checklist was something like this. This has been needed for Mist Weaver for so long. Uh, this way, when you use Life Cocoon on a t on a tank, you're saving mana. Or if you're PvPing and you use Life Cocoon on somebody, you don't need to use those additional levels for healing. It's amazing. Uh, next up, we Uplifted Spirits, uh, Rising Sun Kick, and Vivify Critical Strikes reduce the remaining cooldown on Revival by one second. And Revival heals targets for 10% and Revival's healing over 10 seconds. So this is a conduit right now. Um, it, I think it's called Rising Sun Revival. And yeah, this is good. This is going to be used in RBGs, probably raids. It, maybe in Mythic Plus in Arena, probably not too much. Maybe versus Warlocks. But yeah, uh, this is it's pretty good. Uh, this is a new spell. It's called Zen Pulse. Uh, what it does is when you, it, you use it on somebody and it deals AOE damage. And then for the amount of damage it does, your target gets, your teammate gets healed for 3,000 per enemy damage. And I'll show that, uh, which is, it's very neat. Uh, pretty interesting. Really, it's going to be really good in Mythic Plus. Might be decent in Arena too. Definitely good in RBGs. In, in raids, it might not be versus like bosses with single target or just one mob, but definitely has this will definitely have uses uh next up you choose between life cycles or manatee i'm so happy they kept my life cycles i'm I, I, i'm so happy life cycles is my spell i love it and i'm gonna it, you could obviously choose manatee same cooldown same everything i just love i just love me some life cycles uh next row rapid diffusion it has the ny nyi so uh maybe it's still getting worked on but rising sun kick and velpy mist also a rising Sun Kick and Enveloping Mist apply Renewing Mist for three seconds to an ally within 40 yards. So this with twice, it's actually six seconds. So this this is interesting because this is uh, this is free mana right here with Renewing Mist. Um, this is going to give you the ability to spread your Renewing Mist a lot, especially for six seconds. Um, and the range on it is 40 yards. So in PV in Arena or RBGs, you could just kick a pet. Renewing Mist is going to go on somebody. Or you can heal with Enveloping Mist. It's going to go on somebody. Or in, in Mythic Plus or Raids, you could just use this. You can keep Fist Weaving. And you could just keep using your Rising Sun Kick to keep applying Renewing Mists. It's crazy. This is so, so good. And it's so mana efficient. This right here, Song of Chiji, Baseline. This means you get to have Song of Chiji and Ring of Peace together. Finally. Like... Finally, I've been waiting so long. You have to spec into it right now. I've been waiting. I'm so happy. Um, next up, we have Zen Reverberation. So this, so this is you get this after specking into Zen Pulse. And what this does is Zen Pulse triggers a second time at 30% effectiveness if cast on targets with both Renewing Mist and Enveloping Mist. N doesn't seem that good to me. Um, maybe good if you're a tank healer. Maybe in Mythic Plus where your tank has Enveloping Mist and Renewing Mist. Boom, you do a little extra damage, do a little more healing. And then we have Accumulating Mist. Zen Pulse's damage and healing is increased by 10% each time Soothing Mist heals up to six times. When your Soothing Mist channel ends, this effect is canceled. So that is something probably worth looking into just because the damage is, I mean, 60% damage increase. It does about 2k damage. So, I mean, just 
being able to increase it by what 60 uh up to 60 percent roughly it's like a 3,000 damage to everything it's actually pretty good uh and then obviously if you have multiple you have do more damage you do more healing with it which again is really really good it's definitely gonna have to get looked into this right here is is yulon summons it's yulon and then enveloping mist cost reduced by 33 percent while Yulon is active. This is exactly what Mistweaver has needed this entire expansion. I cannot believe we didn't get this. And then obviously it's, I think it's something's under development, um, but that it's just crazy. It's crazy. I, I cannot believe it. Um, and then we have Invoke Chi G, same thing. And then make sure you're immune to move impairing effects. Uh, not this, she's just the same. She's just the same. Overflowing Mist, your Enveloping Mist heals the target for 1.5% of their max health each time they get take damage. Take it twice, 3% of their max health. Now, this is this is going to get nerfed in PvP. Maybe not nerfed in PvE. I don't know how they're going to balance this, but... I mean, that's just a flat healing... That's just a flat 3%. It, that's just crazy to me. Um, so, I don't know. That's probably going to have to get balanced, but it's looking pretty good right now. Uh, Nourishing Chi, this is a conduit right now. When you use Live Cocoon... Um, it increases your hots by 20% and then it, it, 10 seconds and then it continues 10 seconds after the cocoon is removed. This is actually six seconds on live right now. So they buff this spell. Um, very, I'm happy with that. Yeah. Nourishing cheese, really good. Maybe not so much in PVE, but in PVP, very, very, very strong. So I'm happy with that. Next row, we have calming coalescence. Each time soothing mist uh, heals. Each time soothing mist heals, the absorb of your next life cocoon is increased by 3%. You can see these stacks right here. Uh, it, I've gotten our health pools right now are 111,000 and I had 180,000 life cocoon. So very, very strong, at least in PVP and PVE. Maybe if you know, there's a tank mechanic coming now, I know life cocoon is life is laughable in PVE in like, especially rating, but it is actually a decent shield. So maybe if you see a tank mechanic coming, you can use it. Yulon's whisper. This is a legendary right now that nobody uses, but when you activate thunder focus T you do AOE healing pretty neat. I don't know if it's that good. Um, I'll see. How, I, I, it's. I'll probably take it if I have extra points, but I probably won't. This right here is Mist Wrap, which increases Enveloping Mist Duration by one second, and it's healing by 10%, or Refreshing Jade Wind. Um, obviously, Refreshing Jade Wind for raiding, and then Mist Wrap probably for Mythic Plus and PvP. Enveloping Breath. While active, Yulon and Chiji heal up to six number allies with Enveloping Breath when you cast Enveloping Mist. Healing for X amount over seven seconds and increase the healing it takes. So that's just insane. By the way, just want to note, these are one minute cooldowns. Just FYI, these are, I, I don't know if it's, yeah, yeah, it's because of this, it's bugged right now. These are three minute cooldowns, but this talent down here, Gift of the Celestials, reduces the cooldown of Invoke Yulon by two minutes, but the but the duration is reduced by 12 seconds. So you have a reduced, reduced duration, but it's a one minute cooldown. That it's, I don't even think it's worth taking Jade Bond. It, abilities to activate Gust of Mist reduce the cooldown on it and it increases the breath. I don't even think this is worth taking. I think Gift of the Celestials is absolutely what you're going to go with. This makes it so your Chi G or Yulon are one minute cooldowns. And this is also makes Enveloping Mist 33% mana reduction. This is a built in manatee, a little bit weaker, but a, basically a built in manatee with this on a one minute cooldown. That's crazy. Uh, continuing with the row, Dancing Mist. Renewing Mist has a 5% chance to immediately spread to an additional target when initially cast or when traveling to a new target. So this is cool. Um, I think it increases it to 10% chance. The RNG is there. You kind of need, you can either choose that or this Font of Life, which makes it so Essence Font's initial heal in is increased and has a chance to reduce the cooldown of Thunder Focus T by one second. This was actually, this was in BFA. Um, so... It was pretty useful in BFA to get the, um, I think this was a thing, one of the, I forget the name of the gear, but it was on like shoulders or something and you could stack it. So that, or Azerite power, that's it. And yeah, this was kind of useful, obviously not used in PVP, um, but we really, I really want to get uh focus thunder this on this next row. So I'm probably just going to go with dancing mist in, in PVP for now. Obviously though, font of life for PVE is probably important. Uh, this next row is kind of weird. They gave us Faleen Stomp, which is the Night Face spell. I I don't know if this is a mistake. I don't know if they meant to put in Fallen Order here by accident. But yeah, Faleen Stomp, they gave it to us. Kind of interesting. Definitely not going to take it. 
it's kind of a meme right now, but uh, yeah, I I don't know. It's, I'm interested to see where that goes. And then next row, you have Ancient Teachings of the Monastery, which of course is our... Oh, so what's this up here? Oh, this is the Tiger Palm. Okay, this is the Tiger Palm where it gets up to three stacks and you can black out three times. This is Ancient Teachings of the Monastery, which is the legendary, which when you use Essence Font, you do damage with your... You do healing with your damage. Or you choose Cloud of Focus, which obviously for PvP, you, that's probably what... You're definitely going to go with Cloud of Focus, which again... You get to get Clouded Focus, which is huge healing and mana output, and then you also get Escape from Reality, and then all this other tools. It, you have healing output and defensives is just amazing. We already chose Gift of, Gift of the Celestials. Again, really, really good passive. Just a one-minute cooldown, Yulon and Chiji. Next up, we have the Focus Thunder, which makes it so you get your Thunder Focus team now empowers two spells, or you get Upwelling. So again, depends on what kind of content you do. Obviously, for PvP, we're going to go with this. Um, in raids, you probably go with upwelling, but even then, like double rising sun kick is really nice. And then you get bone dust brew. I like bone dust brew. Um, it's not gonna be nearly as powerful as it is now, but it's still very, very good. So bone dust brew, I'm gonna go with, which gives you access to resplendent mist. So, yeah, that's kind of where the tree ends. You need a lot of choices uh, if you're gonna like go up to this part. I definitely need to make some decisions, but uh, resplendent mist, and then you get missy peaks. So renewing mist heal over time has a 5% chance to proc enveloping mist for three seconds. So a lot of procs so far. And it's um it's kind of interesting to see how it's gonna go. Because you have the chance of renewing mist spreading, and then you also have a chance of getting enveloping mist, which is crazy. Um, I kind of want to drop this for now and then go. I guess I have to go here. Get resplendent mist. And then Secret Infusion, they brought it back from BFA. So after using Thunder Focus T, your next spell is a 5% stat increase. So you get 10% of crit. If you use Velvet Mist, Haste with Renewing Mist, Mastery with Vivify, Versatility with Rising Sun Kick, or Haste with Essence. Actually, that's Haste on both on both Essence Font and Velvet Mist, or uh, Renewing Mist, which is interesting. So they didn't have that before in, in BFA. Um, then you have Peaceful Mending. Allies targeted by Soothing Mist receive 10% more healing from your Velvet Mist and Renewing Mist effects. Really good single target healing here. Probably definitely going to go with this for PvP. Very, very strong. I think I need to drop like some of these over here and take this. And then in this one, again, geared towards the Night Fae, your Blackout Kick Strikes have a chance to reset the cooldown of your Rising Sun Kick while within your Phalene Stomp. So... If you like Night Fae, there you go. And then they continue Night Fae. You get Awakened Phalene, which uh, your abilities reset Phalene some 100% more often. So, and then your Tiger Palm strike two additional targets and Spinning Crane Kick heals nearby allies for 15% of the damage on. Actually, not bad. That's actually, I'm, I'm not too mad about that at all. That, that seems pretty decent. It's just like Night Fae is kind of weird. And then we have Restorative prolific Proliferation. Um, each time Velvet Mist heals, its healing bonus has a 50% chance to spread to an injured ally within 30 yards. Another proc. I'm not a huge fan of proc or like of like RNG proc, so I'm probably not going to go with this. T of Plenty is another interesting one. What this does is when you use Thunder Focus T, it randomly chooses a, one of the spells that Thunder Focus T empowers and then basically gives you a third charge. I mean, it might not be one that you like, but I mean, it's still a chance to get like I don't know, three free vivifies or something like that, which is crazy. So I like that a lot. Uh, Unison, Soothing Mist heals a second injured ally within 15 yards for 50% of the amount healed. Probably going to be good in... Uh, probably going to be good in RBGs and raiding. But in Arena, I don't even think in Mythic Plus. Probably won't use it that often just because you're not casting that much. Um, Invoker's Delight, so you gain 33% haste for 20 seconds after summoning your Celestial. So this is where I think it's going to get a little bit weird because our Celestials are on a one minute cooldown with Gift of the Celestials. So, <laughs> I mean, if they, if you go here and they go here, you, you get, you get 33% haste every minute. And I just don't see that happening. I don't know. It's probably not going to happen, but it, I, I would, I mean, I would love it. Here you have to choose between Tier of Mourning, which is when you use Vivify or Enveloping Mist on a target with Renewing Mist, you have a chance to spread the Renewing Mist to somebody. And then your Vivify, uh, uh, when you use Vivify, 
with your renewing mist you heal it it does 20 percent more with the aoe heal from vivify so good spread healing definitely a lot of proc chances for renewing mist i mean there's definitely builds out there probably where you know you can be able to use renewing mist to because you, know, you get rising mist here this is rising sun kick heals our allies and then extends your uh essence font enveloping mist and renewing mist so there i'm there's definitely going to be a build where you're going to go here misty peaks go rising mist this is probably going to be the build for pve and you're obviously going to go ancient teachings and you're going to go teach to the monastery probably even go spirit of the crane and then you're you're just going to try to hopefully orange oh and then you're going to go here with rapid diffusion and then you're just going to try to proc as much as you can with renewing mist and then just keep extending those hots i could see it and i could see it being crazy if you aren't if your rng is high so keep that in mind really really good and then this final one obviously we, we choose resplendent mist and then you have bountiful brew which makes it so your abilities have a low chance to proc bonus brew and at somebody's location or you have attenuation which makes it so bone to shadow damage or healing is increased by 20 percent, and then also has you know reduces the cooldown when you heal with it so that is the mist weaver tree overall i am not disappointed at all i'm actually i'm more expecting nerfs than anything else um i would love to know your thoughts though please if you have any you know anything you see anything you want to know about i have alpha i can test anything you want please let me know i am more than happy to answer any question you might have uh, let me quickly just cut to some builds and that's pretty much it for me